hidden uh, the hidden room a couple times. That's my suspect suspicions right now. This time the clanking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to give me once again. I can't imagine never getting used to the pressure that comes with preparing for an execution in that dusky darkness. Nobody said a word. I just stood there silent still. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened with a warning. The dazzling light penetrated every depth of my mind. But it wasn't the illuminated light to hope. Now what? It was the blinding light of despair. Oh my god, what is this ghost star room? Ah, I've been waiting for this. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. It's time for the pointless jokes and jokes of the past. Let's get on with the show. So the certain curtain opened for the fifth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, deadly riddle, deadly defense, deadly faith, deadly class trial. We get it. No. No. Okay. Well, I've pretty much got all the evidence I need. It wasn't even that much. But I'll take that. I'll take that. Nice. Let's go and start. We'll rise. Let's begin with a mm -hmm. basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine. Well, it couldn't have been results. any of us, right? If you can figure out who done it, then I'll punish every. Okay, well, I'll leave the rest up to you. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified That's gonna be Makura, victim right? is. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. But Kyoko's standing right there. No, that's a ghost. But she has legs and stuff. Well, that's True. just because she's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse okay. isn't Kyoko, right? Corpse is Kyoko, right? The hand. Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Her traits? One important trait that, uh... The gloves. I got it. I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. The hands. I'm sure right? In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me. Scars. Apparently you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh. You know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Really? Probably just got burnt up in the explosion. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. I can't prove why. That can the case when we forwards. Okay. Proof bullet time. Boom. Where is it? Oh no. Okay. That Kyoko there is just a ghost. That's you on the right hand. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the True. explosion. Then she was wearing gloves before the. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Cause that corpse is absolutely joke up. This entire discussion is idiotic. No way. No way. Hey, what's up, Mr. Man? Okay. Impossible. What have we got? Then prove it. Go to body nurses. Fake nails. The dead body That's who. wasn't wearing gloves. Three. Got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Cause that corpse is oh, you absolutely shit, cunt. Joko. This entire discussion is idiotic. Let's do it again. Damn it. Okay. Go again. Okay. Then prove it. Prove she's the dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves. Well, Fruit? yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Oh, it's the wrong one. What do you mean? Yoko there is just a ghost. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. Prove the dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Fake nails. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Cause that corpse is oh. absolutely- This entire discussion was idiotic. Oh my god, this pissed me off, mate. Okay, skip. Okay, then prove the dead body was they got burnt up in the then she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Oh, I got blocked. She's because that corpse is oh, this sake. oh my god, this pissed me off. 
My... Okay, then prove it. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Oh my god, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This entire discussion is idiotic. <sighs> bro, okay. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. The dead body wasn't wearing... They got burnt up in the explosion. Oh my god. Yeah. That corpse is absolutely what I missed? I missed what? What the fuck is going on? That... I don't know what's going on. Wait now, it's touching my hand. Wait now. Okay, then prove it. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Bro. They got burnt up in the If you would arrive soon in the next week. Hey, let's hope it gets here soon, bro. There we go. Go on. Let's hope it comes soon, bro, before this corona hits and everyone's fucking at home chilling. We have a nice, powerful PC to play no. some games on. There's no way the corpse was wearing nails. gloves. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for okay. someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails. Don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? They're complicated like that. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? Okay, These true. We're custom the fire in the game right now. We are... Sure don't interfere with my daily life. This is the final chapter. We'll finish this bit, this trial, and then we're done after this. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. Kyoko is not a ghost. It should have been obvious since she's standing right here. Okay, so then. Who's we have to the prove real? it. We actually have to prove to this first, idiot that it's not. That out. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Okay. Kuro. It has to be Makuro, right? Oh my god, more bullets like this. Oh my god. Can't, I can't be bothered, man. If Kyoko really is still alive, then who died? Got a body. Got to. Some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. True. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body, then there's nothing else we can do, right? Okay, the identified body, the mystery on the right hand. No, the uh, tattoo on the right hand. Really? Then who died? It's gotta be. I don't think so. The face was scorched and there wasn't any description. Oh, if we can't identify the Boom. No, that's wrong. Easy man. There was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? For real? For real? Lying will die a cruel and unusual death. Cruel and unusual death? This I gotta see. She's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring uh -huh. out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Oh, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Fenrir, is the wolf. A dog? Her master must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. Bruv. Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Oh, really? Bro, if you compare the tattoo to other information with the victim, it's unclear. Um, that. I got it. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Group. Okay. So. Okay, and. To show that they're a member of the team. Each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir. The image that represents Fenrir is a wolf. The wolf, bro. I know what it is. A wolf or Ragnarok. Wolf. Wolf, wolf bro. Easy. Ah, uh, okay, now. Wolf. Boom. Now I understand. Kind of pointless. It really made us do that. But that. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir. The Wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge, mm -hmm. world ending wolf beast. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and a female giant. Man, 
After all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all-star. And that means McCool. exactly the body we found had a tattoo of a wolf, which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. What? How do we how do we know it's somebody we've never met or seen? Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> so who killed her? Surprised, but you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusai. I mean, how do we know who it is? It's got to be Kyoko. Are you saying the mastermind is dead? Now we have to have a clue last trial? No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. The point. ultimate soldier. That's what it says she was. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said ultimate was soldier. that she was the ultimate soldier. True. Because she was in the Fenrir Corps. That other information came from Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? So that means Kyoko got it wrong? Um, who was she? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time? And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? An important character, she was Which irrelevant. She was the same as us. Just another participant. Then who's the real mastermind? It must have been the Hope Speak Academy headmaster after all. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. What do you mean? Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost. Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible. Fine. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember... So is it one of us? No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more Where time is it? What? for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students mm -hmm. has taken place. Yes. Turn that point straight into your big old brains. What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Wait, no. There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along. The 16 no. chairs. There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible me or Kyoko. Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? I got me and Kyoko. You've narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime uh -huh. last night, I went to the garden. So I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. So, the murder must have taken place after I left but the garden. But the sprinklers go off at 7.30, remember? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? Gym? Why she shot? That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis are me and Makoto. That's True. why we're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. Oh, me and Makoto go down. I can't understand. Someone have to clear um, my name. I have That's... something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. What happened last night? Of raising an objection. Well, objection! Before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want. Somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. 
then I guess we can okay, see but the, the thing wasn't wet. Then and when the body wasn't body. wet at the time we found it. Oh, but but the sprinklers go off at 7.30. Nine. one who saw the body Nine. first was Toko, right? And she went to go get the pickaxe. Nine, four. I got it! The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. But the body wasn't wet then. Well, it was probably nine on the dot. But the pickaxe came back by nine oh one. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between ten at night and nine in the morning. For me, Three. I was already asleep before nighttime hit, so I don't have an alibi after ten o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before nine this morning. We ran into each other in the hall, right? That was around. Oh yeah. Right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about uh -huh. it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. True. Okay, then I just thought the game has begun. If I can't prove an alibi for that period, then I just thought the murder didn't happen during time. I that, I don't have to make it clear when the body ended up in the garden. Alright, so, something about the sprinklers, right? Sprinklers, there you go. Okay. We've established a time frame for the murder. Sprinklers. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock oh. in the morning. Three? Oh, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. No way. We've established a time frame for them to take place somewhere it was between clock. 10 o'clock at Animal Crossing and Doom? I know, bro. I'm probably not too bothered about Doom, to be honest. And Makoto doesn't have an Doom's not one of the things are, I'm really too bothered about playing. Oh, shit. That wasn't it. Hey, what is it? Sprinklers, fragments. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Only two runs to hit there. That's more than enough time to commit. So Makoto, if you have any other okay, what do I need to get? What do I need to hit? A time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of the Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. I don't know what I'm hitting, bruv. Shoot. I don't know what I'm, what I'm hitting. We've established a time it took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night. I don't know what I'm hitting. I do not know. Shoot. We're gonna fail this. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night. And nine o'clock in the m yep. And Makoto Yeah, from ten o'clock to seven thirty. Okay. That's more than enough time to commit murder. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between ten o'clock and it, no. That's not it. Shoot. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took okay. place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night. I don't know what to do, bro. It's gonna be confusing as shit. Reset. I refuse to give up yet. But it's gonna be confusing as fuck, bro, because I don't know what I've um, got any. Do I have to suck one up? What? Okay, fragments. We've established a time it took yep. place somewhere between ten o'clock and nine o'clock in the morning. Yep. And Makoto doesn't have a time okay. yeah, from ten o'clock to seven thirty. Hit it. No. Shoot. Not that one. Fragments. Sprinklers. The body analysis. Place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night. Shoot. Oh, yeah. I we think I have to do a suck. Time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock. Yep. And the yeah, from to 7 30. That's not it. Shoot. 
We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi from the- Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7 30. It's not it, it's sprinklers don't hit the 7 30 bits, so I don't know, Shoot. dude. If we run out of time, that's it, we have to do the whole trial again, which is annoying. Time for it took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7 30. No, I'm completely lost, bruv. Completely lost. I'm not going to do I'm pretty sure I've hit every possible pattern. Stuck that one up, hit that. I'm um, done that. I refuse to give up yet. Bruh. Okay, let's try again. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. Okay. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7 30. That's more. Well, suck that one up, right? There's only two gold ones to hit, so. Go again. We've established a time frame. It took place somewhere hit it? between 10 o'clock. No, it's not that. So it's not that one, it's not that one. So there's no suck. There's no sucky wucky to do. We've established a time frame for the Trial by error. It took place somewhere between yeah. 10 o'clock at night. Not that. It's definitely not the other one. So that bullet is out of the picture. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place Fragment. somewhere between 10 o'clock at night. That, that bullet is out of the picture. I think. So it's gonna be sprinklers, right? We've established a time it took place somewhere between There we go. No, that's wrong. Got it. It was that simple, it was the sprinklers. Didn't know where they hit. Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near ten o'clock. It had to have oh, taken course, place of course, of course. That's what we're trying to prove that the murder didn't take place anywhere near that. And what makes you say that? The wetness. Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every day. Oh, I do have an hour. So if the body had been in the garden before what mean 7.30, what? then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on. I remember this part perfectly. The body was wet. Yeah, because I threw water on it. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such indecent words? No, I'm saying that the body was wet. Because I chucked water on it because it was on sprinkler. fucking fire. Did you, you were knocked out during the time. Did say it was on fire? Sprinkler. Are you trying to deny my yes. entire existence? Yes. Yeah. You're totally wacko. If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler, it was a fucking bucket I chucked from the fire. Better tell us why. Did this really? That BOQ is right there. He knows it was a fucking bucket. Oh no, dude. Really have to do one of these? Fuck's sake. I admit nothing. I hate you. No, no, no. You don't know anything. Boom, 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 No, no, no! I don't know anything! Hold on! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing! Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing! I hate you! No, no, no! Okay, I've got the tempo. Boom. How can you this should prove it? Okay, holy shit. Hey, what's up, Lucifer? Bruh. Bruh. Just remember what the body was like after the explosion, and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. Why do I have to prove defend myself that I literally threw a bucket when Biokia saw I threw a bucket of water? Completely dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole I threw a bucket of water on the fire. I don't know why I have to explain that. I'm so sick of her. Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet. Because I threw a bucket of water. 
Does not need explaining. While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water. But only the part on fire, the top half. Fucking stupid, bro. Then I guess the sprinklers really. Yes, I don't know why I need to prove that. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, That's so stupid, bro. They want me to prove that when it is place. obvious. Sometime after the sprinklers turned on it. Has to be, yeah. It morning. happened whilst we were awake. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was at nine. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from. Do I have an alibi? Then met you at seven thirty. So there's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Okay. Is Kyoko? I'd just like to say one thing. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. So she did it. Which is why I can't let that happen. But Kyoko did it. So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. Okay, so who was it? This you killed herself. The mastermind has laid for us. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time. Stop wasting energy. You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you. You got it, Shut up, dickhead. Shutting up now. Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So that was her motive? If she had a motive. And no alibi. Well then. Well, I mean, she I said she was in the finish. So. gotta be the culprit. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. What do you mean? Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. <laughs> okay. What? Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Interesting. Huh? Listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting. But then the top was gone. Oh. I got it. You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp. But what, who would have put the who put the tarp there? The who put it there? In fact. That's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely okay. so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto You're really snaking me out like this? Bitch, actually trying to make me look like a killer, what the fuck? I can't also touch the body, but there was no blood. Wait, something's not right. And what might that be? Oh, was spotless. The top was clean. The other side, how does that make sense? The body before explosion, I think is the key one. By covering the body with yeah. the tarp, the killer prevented it from getting... So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless. True. Right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the- Of course it didn't get dirty! Oh. Oh no. By covering the body with the tarp, the killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one Where's side was because the sprinkler got that side, but the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless. It's because that side was protected from the wall. Since it was facing down toward the bottom, of course it didn't get dirty! Boom! Bang no, Easy, man. 
What's going on now? Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because the blood wasn't mm -hmm. dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Right. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh, yeah, true. true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? What if, after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim? Okay. You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? I know! They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? True. No, that's not what happened this time. Oh, maybe not. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Chicken! Chicken! No! No, the chicken! Oh, no! I got it. They used the chicken! I killed the chicken, bro. Why? Chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. There's four but chickens. After the murder, there were only four. So you're saying someone killed a chicken? And then, man, that's messed up. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, True. there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the True. case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. Mm -hmm. I have to agree. That certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. Is it? Wait. No. It was backwards. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in oh, the, the sleeves. sleeves. The sleeves are off. Then that settles it. Sorry, I'm having a tough time keeping up. What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off, but the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body. The coat they've already covered in blood. This series of covers to the back, disguise then. the actual time the murder occurred. We got stepped in the back. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off at 7:30. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. How? That mean it would, would it be how long are the sprinklers on for? Uh -huh. They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. But the tarp was put into the shed. They'd be done in no time. But the tarp was put into the shed, so who was there? Maybe, but still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Yeah. Oh no, I headed oh. off to the gym, and Makoto didn't show up till later. Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? What was I doing? That's not... Don't bother saying it's not possible. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is... Fuck. ...inadequate. Okay, wait, 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 chill. Wait, 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 wait. Disguised dead body. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. Who? I have to talk about the top was found in the shed. So they went back. So the sprinklers turn on at 7 30. Boom, top is there, covers it. Top gets wet, right? 
7.30. I was with Hina at 7.30. Um, I can't remember what I was doing. Um, hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 odds. Oh. See? Pretty good idea. Because right? apparently I'm the ultimate lucky yeah, student, right? Not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. What was it? You know that knife we found all black and burnt? The one we found stuck in the box. Oh, no, I'm going to talk. It's my knife. Loaded, right? I have to tell them about what happened last night. According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that no. somewhere before. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I this is, I'm already a suspect, and it's my knife. Oh, fuck off. Uh, we have a knife, what are we going to do with it? Let's go keep it, but we don't know what she might do. Hold on. Hold on, it's on my... the knife we gave Shit. Makoto? Shit. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Then why did you hide that fact? Because it wasn't bro. It's not that I hid it. It's just... Tell them about what happened last night. Oh shit. Indeed. The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. Well, thousand percent convinced. So everything up to now, I should be able to make it clear. I proved that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. I saw Kyoko in my room. Um. Yeah, those. I don't know what to do with those. Put it body. Read it. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. True. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's this no question. Stabbed? You took that Maybe they took that knife and stabbed. killed her with it. What a horrible man you are, Makoto. Okay. Stabbed. Maybe they weren't stabbed. The knife we found is the same one we can get. It really is, isn't it? If he did have that knife, that seals it. Wait. Just because I had the knife, that automatic... Well, getting stabbed is what killed him. Boom. Easy. No, that's wrong. It weren't stabbed. It was to the head, right? It was blunt trauma to Wait. the head. Hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! The no, in the head, right? Don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? So, when we discovered the body... The knife huh? had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, the, the knife was stabbed into just a dead, already dead body. Obviously, the stab wound isn't what killed her. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. Well, that was possible. That condition in the body was written down for everyone to see. What is it? What am I using? No. Shit. What is it? What is it? What am I using? That position the body was written down for everyone to see. Monokuma file? I got it. Oh. The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. Then the knife was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. Okay. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Boom. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. So they were real to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death 
then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have uh -huh. a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bother to put that lump of gray matter... The, uh, the Monokuma bombs. You'd know the answer. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particles... That was the Monokuma uh, bomb taken out of the broken Monokuma. I might be dumb, hmm? but even I'm was. not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway on this. Okay. Boom, where is it? Where is it? What am I... Bro. That. I got it. That one. After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know... That's only natural. What was it? Because, of course, we saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. Three. It's part of a bomb. Bomb. Oh, then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Byakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. The bump to the head, right? Bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue. A bump in the head or something. It won't change the facts of the case. That's what the file said. Okay. Don't being bucked in the head, right? Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah, she was already totally... And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? Then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um... According to the monitor, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Oh shit, that was the one. Shoot. I needed that, wait. Okay. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has- The explosion didn't kill her for sh- Well, yeah. And it wasn't me because of the knife. Then what the fuck? One other thing. Oh yeah. Um, that's gotta be it! There was evidence- And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. No, that's cool. Then shall we continue- The victim's fatal injury has- The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. And it that's wasn't false. because of the knife. Then there's only Don't fucking there. make it- uh, That's gotta be it! There was evidence- Oh, what the fuck is that? The victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire What the fuck? Ah, oh, there's gonna be a sucky wucky. Then sucky shall sucky. we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Okay. Well, yeah, she was already told. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? Then there's only one other thing. Oh yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that. The victim had suffered countless wounds across her No, fucking hell, bro. What is this bullshit? Countless wounds? There was no countless wounds. Is that what it said? I don't remember. Oh, mate, was this bullshit, bro? Come on. I refuse to give up yet. Okay. We'll figure this out. Get this. What? Killed it. And I was blunt force from the head, it wasn't a knife wound. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has No, what am I doing? Fuck. No. 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 Bro. Sure. Explosion. Well, yeah. She was already and it wasn't me because of the knife, right? Knife. Then, but what, what am I sucking up? Oh yeah. Um that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit. That on the back of her head. And the back of the head is true. I remember it said that. 
the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Okay. Then shall Wait. we continue? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, explosion? Yeah, she was already totally dead. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Oh yeah. Um, I'm lost with this one, bro. We have a trial and error again. This is going to be trial and error. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless we hit that? Her yeah, we're going to keep trying and error, okay? We're going to have to hit everything possible. The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. Okay, so it's not that. We're going to have to hit every prompt possible because I've got no clue. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Got that. Yes. Then shall we continue? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be defeated. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? A what? What? Only what? Thing. Oh, yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. I hit that. It's that not that. that. I hit that. It's not that. So it's definitely a suck. Let the sucker one up. I have to hit the knife. I missed the knife for some reason. Fatal injury has yet the explosion didn't kill I don't know why. Well, yeah. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? No, it's not knife. Okay, so it's none of those. So it's definitely got to suck one up. Right, okay. Then shall we continue? The victim's fatal oh, no injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Yes. Well, yeah. She was already told. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one up. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the mo that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was no, the back of her head. Okay. Oh, there's trial and error. Then shall we continue? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Explosion? Well, yeah. She was already. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one. Oh, yeah. Um,. That's gotta be it! There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head! And more than that, the victim the had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Okay, hit on the back of the head with the death. Then shall we continue the, the victim's fatal injury has yet to be. There you go. No, that's wrong! The ones that I hate the, the ones that are pissing me off the most are the sucky ones, bro, because those ones is that because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. Tells you the suck up, it doesn't tell you when you need the suck up, you just have to assume if the suck went up. The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. But what was it? The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blunt object, about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe! How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it'd cave their skull True. completely. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. No way! The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. No thanks. I bet you just hit me with the metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground and, and spit on it. <laughs> I feel the same way. Looks like we're on the same page this time. Seriously? We want to Bruv. figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count what on was it? you, Master. So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? No. No? The knife. They bought some of the knife, right? Fragments? Thick as a metal pipe. I got it. Arrows. Mukuro was hit in the back of the head with something. And that's what killed her. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. That's not as thick as a metal pipe, bro. Arrow? That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds... kind of weird. Hey! How dare you backtalk, master! 
You have no right. That's not as fixed as the metal pipe. That's gonna throw me off. That was gonna throw me off. I blame here for doubting it because there's one more thing about that weapon. The key was in Kyoko's room. The titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Oh, Kano. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. Oh. It said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal. It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to me. They put duct tape around it. You have no so there's right. blood on the duct tape. There's blood on the duct tape. The titanium right. arrow. Duct tape. It was in the dojo. I have no doubt that was the. Are you sure? You don't suck in it said the weapon must have been about as thick as it seems like an arrow would just be too Bloody duct tape. No, that's wrong. What about a duct tape? You're right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. Oh, they bundled them that's together. Why the killer used another weapon. Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker, we also found a balled up wad of duct tape. <laughs> The killer probably uses duct tape to bind more. What a fucking weird together. weapon, bro. What is this? Like, all out crafting? Them together using the duct tape would easily that and then bang. A single weapon as thick as a pipe. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. One stick is weak, but put them together and they become strong. Five heads. To teach cooperation. Damn, that's harsh. How is it harsh? You even listening. Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. Oh no, you absolutely. She has been to the dojo. How did you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof, of course. Don't we, Makoto? It wasn't that. Oh, um. Hmm. What's the matter? Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all. Remember? Uh, of course I remember. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. What, the, uh... The robot key? The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. The key to the dojo locker. And how does that prove anything? Because I found it in your room. It was in my room? Don't bother trying to play dumb. That key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your Maybe it was to BOQ, right? the photo for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away, so just give up. Hold on a sec. Your key had the key. This again. You really are dead set on defending. Oh yeah, he was the only one with the key. Think about it, right? He was the only one with the key to get into the room, and the, and the woodblock was already in no, there. It's not that I want to defend her. It's just there's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Last night. You were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just... protecting you. What? I mean, she... She was what? She came to my rescue? Could that be when... You killed someone for me? Enough. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait, I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. I believe her, bro. I believe Kyoko, bro. I'm not a simp. Okay, I believe her. You know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know. He had the key, right? Room key? I thought it was found. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna have to suck a bullet up here. Those words you just spoke. What you exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. 
You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me! There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room, correct? But... Okay. Could I really have done that? Lucky, she didn't have the key. But what do I say here? Those words you just said. Exactly. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than Yakuya. Master would never hide something. There's proof that you aren't the cul- Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory. You said I hid the evidence and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct? But could I really have done that? Okay. Those words you just Exactly. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya. Your master would never have something. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. No, that wasn't it. Shoot. Those words you just exactly. I'm not the killer. You should understand. Yakuya. What are you, master? Would you never hide? There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Okay. Fucked it, mate. Fucked it. Shoot. Oh, this shit is so fucking. Okay, we go again. I refuse to give up yet. Go again. Okay, try. Again. This time. Those words you just exactly what I I'm not the killer. You should killer. understand. Yakuya. Master would never hide. There's proof that you aren't. Is that what you're? You stated a theory. Or you said I hid the evidence of my crime, then left the locker key in my own room. Oh, okay, Correct. it's not that. So it's definitely a suck. Shoot. There's proof, not the killer. Those words you just exactly what I'm not the killer. No, I need that. I need that. That's the one I need. Fuck. I need that. Shoot. I need to suck that one out. Those words you just exactly. I'm not the killer. Okay. You should understand. Yakuya. What a master would you never hide. There's proof that you aren't. The... Is that what you're? You stated a theory. You said I hid the evidence of my men left the locker key in my own room. No. Okay. So it's the proof then. There's proof. Shoot. Those words you just exactly. I'm not the killer. Actually, you have should another. understand that. Yakuya. What a master would you never hide? There's proof that you aren't. Is that what you're? You stated a. You said I hid the evidence of my crime and, and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct, but uh, could I really have done? And then not the killer. That's right. Proof. Those words you just exactly. I'm not the killer. You should understand that. Yakuya. Master would you never hide. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. There you go. No, it's wrong. Got it. Boom. If I'm right, mm -hmm. Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room. True. Why not? Because she didn't have a key. Room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your room, then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my but, room, who put the thing there? I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? It would appear not. The Byakuya do it? Then you're finally starting to understand. The Byakuya do it? The clear condition what Kyoko just told us, and obviously. Or did she already take the key? Did she already have the, the thing? She vote for me, I'll die here, the mission. They hidden forever. The mastermind's trap. The victim was a Mukuro and Kyoko killed her. What does Kyoko really know? And what am I supposed to do? The danger, but the risk means so in the mystery. We have no choice. Fuck! 
Wait, we have to choose? Pursue the lie. I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie. Shit. We have a cool Kyoko out right now. And... Blame her for the killer. Or... We go along with her. Or we simp. We simp. But I'm cur I'm curious, bro. I'm curious. Because if we let it go, that means we can help her. But she, she really did kill Mokuro, right? So think about it. I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking of it like this. Um, to shoot it, she gets fucked. She dies. Everyone's safe. But... Um, let it go. And we see what really happens. Right? Um, some sort of mystery or something. Run away. I don't really know what run away means. What does run away mean? In the trial? I don't want to click run away. What does run away mean? I want to say let it go because I'm curious, okay? I'm curious to see. I don't want to pursue the light. I want to go along with it. Kyoko's saying there's some sort of mystery, right? I'm just kind of curious. I don't want to go along with what it is. I want to, I want to know what exactly she's saying. So if I let it go... Right, then does this determine the actual ending of the game, bro? Bad decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. Bro, we just done it. Okay. There has to be some sort of secret trap, secret here, something that has to do with the mastermind's trap that Kyoko well, mentioned. Does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept We're doing your it, assertion mate. as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? But of course, uh, I have an alibi. From bro, I hope I got I hope I chose... I mean, they all look like bad choices. Kill Kyoko and the mystery doesn't get ever, ever exposed. I possibly have killed anyone. Or put the key in Kyoko's room. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. What? It, it had to be Makoto, right? I don't see any other option. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Okay. Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. True. You Five head. Don't... Lucaro, who oh, exposed. Know existed, suddenly shows up dead. Exposed, mate. Monokuma couldn't even say anything, bro. And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be... Okay, time's up. Well, time's up. Class trial's all over. Everyone can stop talking now. What? Time's up? What do you mean time's up? There's no time's up. Because he's been exposed, bro. Exposed. He's been exposed. That's why he's saying time's up. It's because you were late. So we had to push back the start time. That's When was that a rule? So then, it's time for voting time. Okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. Voting time? Bro, we haven't even we haven't even gotten to the point yet, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Look at that A A A A rank, bro. Easy, mate. Now, who will be chosen as the blackened? Will hey, hold on. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Votes. Why me, bro? I didn't kill her. <sighs> Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> all your fault. Everyone, you're wrong. Put it all wrong. I didn't do it. No, this makes any sense. The whole trial doesn't make any sense. Makes perfect sense. It's the same as always. It's just like all the other trial stars. I'm gonna end it the same way. Love your heart, pound your positive, thrilling punishment. Why do I, Yoko? I don't expect you to forgive me. 
I know this is all my fault. Let's give it everything we've got. It's you fuck me over? What the fuck is going on, bro? Was it me or was it not me? Bro. Bro, I'm restarting the game right now, bro. We're gonna restart this whole trial, bro. What is this? What is going on? What is going on, bro? What's I say? I'm gonna get crushed. No way, bro. No way. Now what? Bruv. Okay. This is bullshit. Bro, somebody better object right now, bro. Somebody better object right now. We're not doing this. Oh wait, for real? Did, did, did Chihiro just save us? What the fuck? Did Chihiro just save us? What's going on? Was that... Uh, um, it had to be? Alter is... Ego? I knew it! I knew it! Alter Ego uploaded this up to the mainframe. I knew it, bro. It was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. Is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all to hell. I don't believe this. Oh! <laughs> You miscalculated from the very beginning. What, what was that? What I'm saying is you shouldn't have underestimated us. Mm. You're talking like you've already won. Bet you found a thing. It was a pinch and an itch. Stupid virus is gone now. Got it? And so is Makoto. Maybe I don't get the smashing flat, but you're never going to see him again. Yeah. Waste away in garbage and pit in a way that's an even better special punishment. <laughs> he doesn't know. Wait, but there's still enough. I'm still not satisfied. You're gonna bring despair to the rest of you, bring despair to an entire world. Uh, um, is he gone? Okay, <laughs> Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? What the hell is going on? They're not the ones being trapped this time. In other words, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared? What did you say? So... You'll understand soon enough, very soon indeed. Where am I? The massive high school towers. Where the buildings in this bustling urban area, so the stands at the center of the entire world. Hope to speak academy. Brings in top students from every field imaginable, government funded school. Back at the beginning of the game, they say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Hundreds of years of tradition, it's the the crop in workforce every year. To raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Speak a pretty fitting name. You restarting, bro? What the fuck's going on? The two things you need to attend the school. Once you or have to already be attending high school, two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is if you get elected by the school itself. Standing at the gate of the ultimate, the ultimate students. Me? Me? What? What? Now we're back. Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? I put my head resting on the top of the hard wooden desk. Back? My body felt heavy, it wouldn't be weird for me to confident for some boring class or whatever, but I was doing a sleep just now. It wasn't my classroom I'd ever been in before. What is going on?
Finally, I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together and then I was awake or was this just another dream? Dream is not a hopeless nightmare? No, this isn't a dream, I can tell because the stench invaded my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern. The barest tint of light seeping in. The was piled high all across the area. Must be some kind of underground garbage pit? So we just, so we just fell. We didn't even die. We just fell and we're at the bottom of the... We're in the basement. Heck of a situation to find myself in. That was just the beginning of my problem. I'm gonna be stuck in there till I wasted away and died. Well, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. I remember all too well what happened. G Hero saved us, bruv. Let's fucking go. He used the last little bit of strength to do it. But I can't give up now for myself and for my friend that the pursuit of survival begins. At first up, we start to look the way out. Door. Box. How many times I push up pull, we can't budge. Yeah. Of course it's not it's not that easy. Started to look around for some food. And it's still there's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. That was pointless too. Next I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which uh, are an all-around bad idea? If I can block on all on all sides. I don't have enough reason to give up because I'm still alive. Because I'm still alive, I'll never give up. I'm making that proud declaration. I decided to do was go to sleep. Sleep was deep and uninterrupted. There was only a one. There was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I'll be sure, but I think at least a full day had to. I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come pouring out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Exactly. Who's that? But the, the strange sound pierced my isolation, jarring me awake. Crash? There was the pile of garbage, jostled and formed an odd shape. Can we fall down? From up above, what could it have been? What the fuck? What is it? A giant piece of trash just fall down here. Okay, I stretched my hand up towards whatever it was that tumbled down here with me. Just a second. What the fuck? Before she emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It smells. How did she get down here, bro? Yoko? Look, you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing so... down here? I need to help you. Glad you hear that? Got a bit of garbage in your hair. You ever had a quip sharp shake to get rid of the trash and face me again? Hey. Just I have some for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Thank you. That's the bread and water she's pouring out for me with the seconds of a mouth for making my stomach. I already hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. Of course not. After all the fact that I can go forward to what I'm, about, mm. what I'm good at. Well, not that such a bad thing to be good at. No, where's everybody else? What's going on? Yoko, why'd you come rescue me? So... Fair debt or no, to a time. You. You're in the trial even though you knew I was lying. You didn't say anything. You knew that I knew. Indeed. Even though I knew I didn't help you. I abandoned you. I said that you didn't abandon me. That's not exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You're trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for However, you. Listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses. There was a reason that I had to survive. Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I had to survive. So I can do what I came to this school to do. I made up my mind to come to Hope's Peak for a very important reason. So you have a reason to come into Hope's Peak? I did. Once. I... But recently I've forgotten what it was. Stop, but that's... I had no memory of what my purpose was. No memory, that's impossible. Amnesia? Then it really is true, you lost your memory? Do you remember, Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? Talking about when we fainted, right? Fainted, I woke up, I was trapped that's here. Right. Fainted too, and then I woke up. Strange feeling of separation with myself. Disconnect. Back on it now. At that point, my memory was gone. Oh, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to. I couldn't remember, remember what my ultimate ability was. What would make you forget all that? Strange, isn't it? Not to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Then you think you lost your memory because. I don't think. Positive it was the work of the monster They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability, somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plans. 
but the Mastermind just stole them from you? However, you also mean somehow my memories may be connected to, to this school and the Mastermind. Why I have to get them back? That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you said is true, why don't you ask the rest of us why to help you? I did that. We, were, we and we all worked as one. Mastermind noticed right away. Plus, where's the chance? That's actually one of us. Correct. Well, don't make too big of a deal out of it. It's just possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? Mastermind was if she believed that, then of course she didn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look at herself. A missing memory by herself. That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? Because among everyone, you were the least likely to be the mastermind. That was just my intuition, but I see. Your intuition was right though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could be the mastermind. I, I understand. Understand everything. My now what? reason to get out of here. It's to stay here. It's not the dream I had before, but why did that just happen? Listen. You okay? Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know. It's just I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. No, I never asked the help right away. I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. So now what we gotta do? You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. How did how did that turn out? Were you able to remember so... anything? I think there's a, still a lot to remember, but at the very least, I'm able to recall my purpose and my ability. I... Ability, what everyone should know me for. I'm the ultimate detective, of course! It was so obvious! She was always on the scene, bruv. Of course. Correct. The reason I came to the Host Academy, there was someone I had to find here in the school. You had to find someone. So... Well? It was the headmaster of Host Peak Academy. Headmaster, what did you want to find with the headmaster? Because he's my father? Nani? In other words, I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Goku's dad is Hope's Peak's headmaster? And that explains. Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I. I'll find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what the cost. So, um... Okay, what's going on here? I... My memory hadn't come back at the point, but when he said that, I felt strange. Makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose coming here was to find him. That makes However... sense. But listen, Mikado, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. If the headmaster wasn't the mastermind. But I didn't say that to protect him. I said that... What I felt, based on what I'd seen, I snuck into the headmaster's room. What did you see in so... there? The room had been ransacked, the shelves were a mess, the desk drawers dumped on the floor. The conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. I mean the mastermind, it's right? True. That was my assumption, yes, and to confirm my suspicion, I started to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's... Some kind of map? Indeed. The layout, the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. Found it in the headmaster's room for his profile and that map showed the second floor come to a number of rooms meant for faculty. Some of the staff must have had a stay overnight some the time. Figured the my headmaster would have some kind of private room. Assumed that if that were true, that room would likely hold more clues. Not to check. Correct. Finally remembered. However, that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. Went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room. However. But once I got to the stairs, I noticed the second floor of the dorms. So, what was it like? Was that that part of the school, I mean? Not to describe, all I can say I... is, the moment I saw it, I realised what has gone on in the school is more horrific than we ever imagined. I mean, so... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. Or you'll get your chance soon enough. Sounds like it must be important and really ominous. What happened to that room, you know? There was a room on the fifth floor. Right, was it the fifth floor? Yeah. There's that room on the fifth floor that um that had like slash marks all over the classroom. What was that one about? A rocket and a tank. We obviously have to use it. Um plane. Is that an airplane? That's something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit. We 
can't get out. I better talk to Kyoko. However, of course, once I got to the second floor of the dorms, there were no cameras and no monitors. But I had no idea what was going on. It has to do with the Mikuro Kasaba, doesn't it? To be perfect clear, I'd clear, I didn't kill her. And no, it wasn't you either. No, you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi, so then who anyway. did kill her? What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. Again, with the point of the class trial of Mikuru Ukusawa was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. Saw that key, disappeared, and in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. That was the point of the class trial. Oh. Oh wait, we're back? Yo, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yo, yo, chill. Wait, wait, wait. let me go to the hero. Oh, should we good? We good? Bruv. Back? Oh yeah, yo, here we go. Hang on. Oh, shit. Hang on, yo, yo, chill. Bruv. Wait, let me reset this. Okay, I think we're good. Right? What the fuck was that? Did internet cut out for a little bit? Okay, we are back. Okay, sorry about that. Bruv, we're getting interesting then. We cut off. Cut us off. Right, okay. Let's just do a little delay test. Okay, that's fine. It was. The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? Right. Exactly. Minimal restrictions, you are free to explore. Hope to be your discretion. Okay. In other words, Master One is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The Master One couldn't step in because of the rules. It makes it sound like but the school hey. regulations. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mukuro Igusaba. That the point where Mukuro may not have become the victim could have been you, Makoto. I could have been the victim. Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? You mean? Oh, during the night, they would have killed me. I can hear them now, you know. The first steps of the God of Death. I can hear the God of Death as he moves. That ability naturally draw, draws me into cases just like this. Anyway, exactly what happened with you? I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell. I saw a white shadow across the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran into your room and saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However, that wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to wherever the master Salem was. They ended up dead. Correct. Their murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my. It has. It all has to be the work of the master mind in an attempt to the class trial to eliminate me. But all this would mean that whoever killed Mukuro is also the mastermind, right? I don't have any concrete evidence, but that's what I think. But it's really bad if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to kill the kill, wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you. They couldn't interfere, right? Correct. Right, that is a contradiction. I just did the class trial to kill me. They seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. What does it all mean? It means that the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out what the ma figure out the mastermind's identity. Identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? No doubt what Makuro there's no doubt that Makuro was the ultimate despair. That she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to be whoever caused that event. Talking That's about right. What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human tragedy. Whoever's responsible for that? 
They're the ultimate despair? A despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Indeed. And they're, make no mistake, they're the root of all evil forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Done. Bruh. We fighting the fucking devil out here, bro? What? What's going on? To be continued. Bruv. Bad ending? You watch the ending? Okay. Well, we could save up, right? Yes. Save. Okay. People, people, who was the tragedy one year ago? Those same people who put together this killing game began broadcasting around the world. Most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the Master Most Red Entity. Our enemy has finally been revealed.